145 pounds, Division I state championship, our second gargantuan bout between Wadsworth and Edge wrestlers. This time we have Brad Squire of Rod Wadsworth coming in at 46 and 1. He's in the white. In green, in the black of St. Edge, we have Anthony Salupo. Salupo, a dynamo on his feet. Squire has been called the best defensive wrestler in the country at this weight class. Clash of styles and a barn burner. Salupo headed to Lehigh next year to wrestle for Pat Santoro. Squire going to Ohio U. And this, coming into this, Eds has a one and a half point lead, but Wadsworth has four finalists left versus just one after this for Eds. So if Eds wants to win a team title, they need to win here. That pin by Loudon Gordon changed everything. He's got good action here in the first. Like I said, Squire is incredibly hard to score on. I heard one fan proclaim on Thursday night that no one would even get in on his legs all weekend. Well, that's an exaggeration. He certainly, certainly does not give up many points. So Lupo really trying to push pace here. Now we're under a minute to go in the first period, still scoreless. Like we said, Eds needs this if they're gonna win yet another state championship. And a win here from Wadsworth, I think, really does ice it. As Wadsworth looking to become the first public school to win a title here in the biggest division in Ohio in over 25 years. Probably our most anticipated state final in all of the Division One classification, both because of just the tremendous individual matchup as well as implications in the team title. Both Salupo and Squire, nationally ranked, top 100 level recruits, certainly, the top 15 or so in their weight class. Do the best Ohio is over. There's a good shot there. Good shot, even better sprawl there at the end of the period. We're going to be nothing, nothing. So a lot of action, but no score to show for it in the first. We've got good, both these wrestlers move really well. Neither guy is stationary, doesn't let the other person get an angle. They're making life difficult for each other. It's what you like to see out of high-quality high wrestlers. Like I said, Salupo's headed to my neck of the woods, going to Lehigh next year. Wrestle for Pat Santoro. So a big return. Squire almost broke the hands. There it is. Breaks hands, gets the escape. And takes the early 1-0 lead. So often happens when you have two just really, really high caliber wrestlers, not a ton of offense. This is, they didn't get this far being easy to score on. The reshot attempt there by Salupo, but nothing really doing. Squire holds position. Salupo trying to hand fight, trying to get a college high Squire, not letting that happen. Now they each have, each are locked up up top. Being able to hand foot is so important in this sport. And I think both of these guys <coughs> kind of fight into a stalemate right now in ties. <coughs> Squire's taking a couple shots that I don't think are very high percentage. He's got to watch those. So I think it's going to be Salupo counter wrestling that he's going to be taking. We've got a stall on Salupo as all of the shots have come from Squire. Salupo. Most of his scoring opportunities have been on counter wrestling. There's another shot by Squire. That stall winning could loom large in a one point match as we go to the third. We've got 10 seconds to go. 
and Brad Squire is going to take a 1-0 lead into the third, but it'll be Salupo's choice. I've got to imagine he's going to go under, which he does. Wadsworth has been quick to cut guys. And so rather than even try and ride, Squire will show the neutral symbol. So we're knotted up at one here in the third period. We kind of had a feeling this was going to be a one takedown match. It most certainly is. Squire tries against Salupo. I'm sorry, has a stall warning. If Squire can keep pushing pace, he could extend, he could break this deadlock. Because a takedown is going to be a tall order for either wrestler. There's a good shot by Squire. Now Salupo in on a leg. Tries to lift. Squire. Great balance by Squire. Now using the edge. He's going to go out. I said early in the match, Squire is one of the toughest kids in the country to score on. Just exceptional leg defense there. For youth wrestlers watching at home, that is how it's done. Just the balance on Brad Squire to not give up a takedown there is exceptional. And Salupo's got to be kicking himself after not being able to convert on a golden opportunity. Now, about a minute to go in the third. There's a high crotch attempt there by Squire. Can't really break through Salupo's first line of defense. Squire keeps keeps pushing pace. I think he's definitely dictated things so far, but it's been Salupo who's had better scoring opportunities off kind of sloppy shots from Squire. There's another shot attempt by Squire. Salupo does it. This takedown Brad Squire! And Squire goes up 3-1. Just as I said, it's Swire who takes kind of low percentage moves. Salupo takes a bad shot, pays dearly for it. 3-1 lead now for the Wadsworth wrestler. 23 seconds to go. Brad Squire leads Anthony Salupo 3-1. And this would clinch the team title for Wadsworth. Salupo to his feet off the whistle. Tries to break, now takes a high crotch shot, nothing. He's got 16 to go. Needs a takedown both for his own title and a team title. It's 10 to go. Squire's in control this time. Salupo tries to shoot. Squire backs up. There's a stall on Squire. Three seconds to go. St. Ed's dynasty is St. Ed's dynasty is over. And Squire's going to beat Salupo for a team title. Bradley Squire wins at 145 pounds, and Wadsworth is going to beat St. Edwards. With four left in the championship bouts. Bradley Squire, congratulations to yourself and your team. I think you've clinched the title. Shakes coach Urban's hand a heck of an effort from Salupo in a great state final, but oh my. Oh my, Wadsworth is going to snap St. Ed's streak.